Hello my dear students welcome back to a new lesson of English language proficiency program I hope all of you are feeling better okay I'm so happy to know about your positive response on my previous lessons so today we are going to learn an important topic so listen to me very carefully okay so here has have had it's a confusing topic right most of the students feel confused by using has have and had i'm going to give you some simple instructions regarding the usage of has have and had okay before that i'm going to tell you an important thing we use this has have and had in perfect tenses okay we use has and have in present perfect tense and had in past perfect tense okay so present perfect I'm not going through the tenses in detail i'll just give you an idea okay has or have plus verb 3 okay past perfect had plus verb 3 has or have plus verb 3 i for example i have written a story a story okay here i had written a story okay so present perfect has or have plus verb 3 for example i have written written verb 3 plus object okay past perfect had plus verb 3 we are not going through present perfect tense and past perfect tense in detail i'm going to give you some simple instructions on the usage of has have and had other than this okay this one you need to understand because as i told you if has or have or had comes in a sentence if there is a verb you need to use past perfect okay you need to use past perfect with has or have or had okay if you write a sentence by using has or have or had plus if there is any verb you need to use it in past perfect okay means verb 3 okay that is the important thing you want to be very careful okay just imagine has and have and past perfect they are close friends okay if past perfect is there there will be has or have or had okay has and have will be there when it is in present had will be there when it is in past okay so be very careful about it v3 will not be standing alone there will be has or have or had okay there will be has or had or have okay that is simple thing you need to understand i'm going to discuss some other important area okay so let's go through it so what will we use has okay we will use has with with he she and singular noun okay singular subject singular subject he she singular subject and it when it he she or singular subject just like raju when it comes as a subject you need to use has i heard some students use she have 
or he have that is the wrong usage you need to use he has she has raju has it has okay clear then verb will be use have i you they we then plural subject okay plural subject for example let's write example by using has okay she she has a doll okay if it is i we will use i have a doll he has a doll i have a doll she has a doll then rani has a doll it has we can't say it has a doll anyway it has okay it has it has come then i have a doll you have a doll we have a doll then they have a doll raju and rani have a doll or students have doll okay children have doll children this is a plural subject people it's a plural subject so we need to use have them okay past form we need to use had okay had we need not bother about the subject when we use had if it is in past we can use had had is the past form of has and have okay we will use has and have in present and had will be used in past form okay have you got i hope it's clear so we will use has with the subject he she it and singular subject have i you they we and plural subject she has a doll i have a doll okay clear so don't forget we will use has with he she it and singular subject and have with i you they we and plural subject okay i you they we and plural subject so don't forget it and i'll give you some special words and you have to tell me which one has or have will be used with those special subjects okay we already discussed those special subjects when we learn am is and are usage of am is and are right so i'm going to give you the same special words you have to tell me if we need to use has or have okay we we need not bother about had because it will be used when the sentence is in past okay so i'll give you those special words see just look at here these are the special words i'm going to give you okay everybody somebody nobody anybody someone no one everyone anyone everything something nothing anything okay these are the special words okay can you tell me which one will be used with those special words when these special words come as a subject which one will be used has or have as i already told you in our previous lesson we will use all those special words as singular subjects okay clear so what will we use we will use has with he she it and singular subject right we will use have with i you they we and plural subject so here we need to use has with he she it and singular subject right so these are all singular when we use in sentence okay while seeing this everybody everything and everyone we will feel like this is plural but we need to use all these words as singular okay so we need to use has with these special words clear we will use has okay don't forget try to note it okay 
clear so i'm going to give you today's note i'll give you today's activity after that okay first you just note this has have and had then write the title has then write these special words so try to understand we want to use has with this special subjects please note this then write has will use has with he she it and singular subject okay then have i you they b and plural subject okay then had that is the past form of when things happened in past we need to use had instead of has and have okay it is the past form of has and have okay so just write this next i'll give you some examples she has a cat then i have a cat then children children plural right children have a cat okay then everybody as i told you everybody we can use it as singular so we have to use has everybody has a cat so i gave you same examples you need to understand the difference has we used because she is the subject we used to have because i i you they we and plural names we need to use have he she it and singular subjects we need to use has then have children it is plural subject right children child is singular then everybody as i told you it includes it includes in a special words so we have to consider it as a singular subject so we need to use has we need to use has with those special words okay try to learn those special words and try to understand those words are singular in sense okay those words are singular okay so please write these examples so dear students i hope all of you got today's lesson i'm going to give you today's activity i have written some sentences here you have to note all those sentences and try to understand the mistakes as i told you we will use has with the subjects he she it and singular names or singular subjects then 
have with I, you, they, we and plural names. Okay, plural subjects. And moreover, we discussed some special words. Those words are singular. We need to use has with those words. I hope this activity will be very easy for you. So, try to correct the mistakes from these sentences. Then write it. Then read. And of course, you need to record your voice. Okay, that's your activity for today. I'll read those sentences for you. Listen to me very carefully. Okay. Number one, everyone have a pen. Everyone have a pen. There is a mistake. Number two, she have a pencil. She have a pencil. Number three, people has come. People has come. Okay. People has come. Then no one have replied. No one have replied. Then somebody have given. Somebody have given. Please write it. I'll wait. Please write it. So dear students, I hope all of you wrote those questions. I think this lesson is very helpful for you. You have to be very careful when you write a sentence, when you write your exams, when you speak. You have to be very careful about the usage of has and have. Okay? I told you we need not be confused by using had. If the sentence is in past, you need to use had. Had is the past form of has and have. Has and have are present forms. Okay. You need not worry about had. Okay. So, you have to be very careful. We will use has with he, she, it and singular subject. Have, I, you, they, we and plural subjects. Along with that, I have given you some special words. We have to use has with those special words. As I told you, these words are singular. We used is when we discussed about am, is and are. Right? Because those words are singular. Okay. So, let me wind up today's class. I will see you soon with another interesting lesson. Till then, take care. Thank you all. Have a great day.